our rooftop tent weighs 152 pounds, which is a little heavy for my wife and I to be taking on and off the Jeep all the time. So today I'm going to show you how I was able to get my 230 rooftop tent off of my Jeep and into my garage. This is the story of our equipment. So we just picked up our 23-0 rooftop tent and it's been amazing, we've been really enjoying it, but one of the things we've been trying to find out is now that we're home, how do we take it off the Jeep so that we're able to put it in the garage? So one of the things I've been working on is figuring that out and this was my solution to it. We have this trailer, I built an enclosure for it a while back and we're just making a simple ramp system where we're going to have the uh, rooftop tent, unbolt it, put it onto my boards here, slide it down, and then so that it fits in the garage, just lift these boards up, put it down, and I should have a half inch of clearance between my garage door and the top of the rooftop tent. The first thing we have to do is, because this is such a low profile rack, we have to take the freedom panels off to get to the bolts underneath here. What's really nice about that is it gives you a little bit of uh, security when you uh, have something like this strapped to the top of your car. It's very hard to get an adult hand inside there to those bolts. Okay, let's unbolt it. Okay, so next we gotta pull these bolts out of here. The first thing we gotta do is pull out these little rubber plugs. They're, these little guys here, they're right in the very end of the track. Takes a little bit of effort and you pop them right out. Now that all the rubber grommets are out of the way, I can remove the mounting bolts. So now the whole tent is completely disconnected. So this is uh, just a two by four piece I have in here. I just have two screws and just, you know, going by the sheer force on the screw itself, it should be able to handle the weight of the tent when you have this multiplied by two. And then these two little guys here, are uh, just little two by twos, two screws holding them in place. And that's just for when I have my final two by four in here to keep it from shifting side to side on this. But I still need to be able to pop it open and that's why I don't have screws going down into it. The next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna climb up there and just start slowly pushing this onto my uh, two by fours, get it onto the trailer. <laughs> So these boards were screwed down into my uh, plywood deck up here, and uh, now I'm just going to unscrew them. Alright, so we want to make it so that this uh, tent fits in the garage nice and easy. We don't want these boards sticking out for something to hit your head on, so just pushing them over and getting this tent a little bit better centered for in garage use. Now that it's all in position, I'm going to roll it into the garage. We're having a little bit of trouble getting the tent to fit in the garage. The garage door itself is just a slight bit too low. So I'm going to adjust my sensor that I have right here, just back a little bit. And what that's going to do is just give me that last little bit that I need to pull the garage door all the way open. After making a few more tweaks, we finally got it in the garage. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.